Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Gaming to the Max and our playthrough of the restoration of the Mexican monarchy in Hearts of Iron 4, Kaiser Redux. So, in the last episode, we put Maria the I, the Habsburg Empress, under the throne of the Third Mexican Empire, uh, and our political beliefs became paternal autocrats. Um, we started to work a little bit on our economy, uh, and we did a little bit with our military, but not much. Um, but in today's episode, we're going to continue. We're going to expand on our work uh, with our military and our economy. Uh, first, we're going to, to finish up this little bit of our economy tree. Uh, then we will move up, finish out these couple of focuses for our military. I might get into the future of warfare to get that extra research slot. But then we're going to start the, uh, the La Reconquista, the reconquest of the territories we lost to America in the Spanish-American War. And that was kind of the end goal uh, of, of this playthrough as we were to restore the monarchy, uh, retake the lands we lost to the United States during the, the Mexican-American War. And um, we'll see what happens after that, but that was pretty much the end goal. We'll probably finish out this uh, part of the tree uh, with the Sunset Invasion. If you guys don't know what the Sunset Invasion is, that is uh, the invasion of the New World to the Old World. And I'm pretty sure it's an invasion again against the Spanish, I think, uh, but we still see when we get there, we're not there yet, um, first and foremost, we are horribly underprepared for a war with the United States, they're in their civil war, so as of right now, they, they have pretty strong militaries, between 11 and 55 divisions for pretty much everybody, the American Union states have a little bit more, and they have Tejas or Texas, um, the Constitutional American Republic has between 34 and 156. And the Syndicalists have quite a bit as well. So uh, those two will be the hardest. But these three are no pushovers either. So let's come down here. Um, we finished out corporal, uh, corporate corporatist economics. Uh, but now we're going to do... Um, we're at 100% stability, so I'm not really worried about the stability there. Uh, I know it said we weren't allowed to, so it only said we could do the capitalists or the uh, maintain some revolutionary policies. I'm curious to see if this adds on to corporatist, uh, corporatist economics or if it changes it. But um, this is what this is talking about, if you guys would like to read that. Um and it adds quite a bit of pretty good buffs. So we'll start that up. Hopefully it doesn't knock that off. Uh, but we'll start it up at four speed. We have a very small military. We have 11 divisions. Uh, which is is horrid. Uh, and we're not building any planes right now. Because we, <laughs> we have four, four military factories. Uh, all guns and artillery. That's what we're going for. Because uh, we're going to need them pretty bad actually. So... I'm going to turn the sound off for those oh no, silent super events. That's just what that music was playing when those big events happened. Just thought I'd turn that off. The left Kuomintang has declared war on the Shang Nong click. So China's still going through its civil war. And uh, Zhu Pied has taken charge of the Yunnan clicks so now the NRA is in charge over there. Research Center War Artillery. Beautiful. Um, trying to think of what would be really good against the US. Uh, we'll most definitely need engineer companies. That's that's a key thing for any infantry, so I don't think the Western Command Center will last very much longer. Uh, but I think the first group we're gonna go after is the Pacific states, and then we'll turn our attention on the American Union states with old Huey Long. Uh, the Ottoman Empire has joined the Saravia Accords. The Austrian. Yeah, so they've joined the Austrian uh, Empire's faction. Okay. Uh, let's see. Let's do better conversion rate. I love some conversion rate. I love that mechanic that they added. I think that was a really nice uh, mechanic to add. I am going to uh, 
use some political power to get the military expansion effort. Give me one more military factory. Uh, we do have 17 civilian factories working on building right now. So I will put a couple more. Uh, I'll add some military factories into the bunch. But I don't need to worry about building the supply depot down in Tabasco now. I do kind of need one up here. But what's cheaper? This is 11000 or is 3,000. We'll just build a naval port there. Uh, and that should deal with the supply issue right here. So that's, 30, that's a 45 day focus to get a new military factory. That's quite nice. I'm a little bit worried. I, I hope this doesn't take my buff uh, away from the corporatist economies because I remember when we first chose an accord with the capitalists it said we couldn't choose this side of the the path uh, and then it, it said you could so I don't know but if you guys would like to play Mexico uh, in Kaiser Redux by yourselves their tree is giant I mean this is huge but we're only playing in this small area of the tree so Should be just about done. You only have about four days left. The Guangzhou federal government declared war on the left Kuntang. Alright, should be done here soon. No, so it adds its own national spirit. I'll, I'll accept it. We'll do open Mexico's markets to the Entente. We already did that with the um, the Kaiserreich or the Kaiser Pact, so this just opens it up again to a different country. Uh, but we will get uh, three more civilian factories and two or three more off-map military factories. On top of that, we get the uh, negative three percent consumer factory goods and the other buffs. If you guys would like to read what that's talking about there. Uh, we'll start that focus up. It does give us a negative buff to start out with. A negative 5% construction feed, speed, production efficiency, and factory output negative. But uh, hopefully when we get both buffs, you know, that's negative 6% consumer good factories. So that's, that's quite nice. On top of the negative 5 from uh, the memories of Augustin, Mysore has declared war on the Prince of Federations or in India. The Mountain Republic. <laughs> Hold on a second. Um, so I did not know this, but over here in uh, in the um, Raj Authority, look at look at who's in charge. Winston Churchill. Hmm. Very interesting. Oh yeah, we did have. I completely forgot where well, we did send troops over here in uh, Bulgaria to get some training. Uh, wow, what a blunder. Uh, I should have been paying attention. <laughs> uh, they are hurting. Put our troops over here in Sofia. Get the uh, first division of infantry and the uh, liberators. Uh, some more experience. Like they're not really attacking anywhere. Don't think uh, Bulgaria will win this, but like I said, we'll get some uh, pretty good experience out of it. Venice did break off of the Republic of Italy, and then they joined the Austrian faction, and then Austria just went right through Italy. So, let's see. Yeah, the Western Command Center looks like it's about done. Uh, Frunz unites Russia. He's a genius. So he has uh, did it in favor of the socialists. The only people I guess he did not get was Tanzimir. Or Transimir, sorry. Honduras uh, peace deal with Nicaragua. Down here. Alright, so we did get 
those new factors. No. We got a new factory. Yeah, we did get a new factory. So I need to get some steel. Some more steel. Uh, and some aluminum. So we can start building uh, support equipment. Do one more there. Do some more there. Defending around Sophia. Looks like a majority of those troops there are going to break. And the entire uh, eastern half of the Bulgarian uh, Empire, the Tsardom, Tsardom of Bulgaria, is going to collapse. Uh, yeah. Not good. The uh, Western Command Center is just holding on for dear life, but they're all mountainous. It's the Rocky Mountains uh, as a whole that are, well, not anymore. This is all mountainous, too, so. What is that? Oh, the Continental America. All right. Insa, uh, Insul India uh, declared war on the Dutch East Indies. Shan, uh, the left Kuomintang has been annexed. They've capitulated. Uh, Oh, I did the economic decision, so I got that uh, expansion from military factories. Let's do that again. Give us a few more military factories. 75 political power is quite nice. We get 1. Uh, 1.17 a day, so that is nice. She ends up giving us a negative four, or one of her ministers does. The Portuguese Empire has signed a peace deal with... Uh, Deutsch Middle Africa. Four more days on the uh, open Mexico's markets to the Entente. S some good boosts there. And the Portuguese have joined the Entente. Uh, syndicalists have won in Greece, in the Hellenic Socialist Republic. Let's see now. Uh. We're going to finish off. So we'll do uh, recover from the revolution. And that gives us some infrastructure and four civilian factories, which is very nice. Our, our goal is to finish up the house of Interbid and then jump over to the military tree and get some more troops out. So let's do recover from the revolution. And then we'll finish out the other four and move on. see how much equipment do I got stockpiled 5,000 rifles 240 artillery and a whopping now hold on hold on a whopping 15 support equipment could be zero I could have zero uh, sorry I'll take a swig of water there um, this is the infantry with artillery yeah well can't afford it so what we're gonna do is train Six divisions is what I can afford uh, for the rifles I got. And of those rifles, eight thousand them, eight thousand of them are old. So some old Mausers we got from the uh, Yucatan rebellions. So Let's see how we doing over here. We're losing. Quite heavily, actually. Is the king taking power in Romania? Uh, yes. Looks like it. Which I guess it really doesn't matter. But I don't think uh, Bulgaria has much longer to go. Uh, I don't think they'll have the power to come back from this, so... And it looks like Italy is about to capitulate. There goes the Western Command Center. Uh, they have capitulated. Go back to my army. 
not worrying about the American Union states yet. I want to take California. So, well, we got quite a bit more days left on that. We're not getting enough supply. We need more trains. You know, I realize now that I don't think I got those off-map civilian or military factories. We started with four or five. Oh, we did. Never mind. I'm just not very smart, so. Uh, it looks like we'll lose that tile there next to Sophia. One of our troops in the Sophia. It just looks like Bulgaria. Yep, there you go. They, they got pinched off up there. So the east is completely separated. By the way, the United States of America is no longer in charge by MacArthur. They are in charge by Ernest J. King, uh, who cooed uh, General MacArthur, who cooed the actual American government. So there you go with that one. Uh, click on you. put our attack line there and say hey Bulgaria I apologize but I'm taking back my volunteers let's get uh, mobile defense gives us plus 10% defense in our infantry that'll be very nice I'd like to have enough artillery pieces to uh, go into battle but I have a sneaking suspicion that I might not get enough for the attack on the Pacific states. Hopefully they'll focus more on the American Union states and we can kind of just blitz from the south, but I don't think that's going to happen either. So this is a book, sorry I was reading it, that's why I went quiet. This is a book that uh, Ignatius has written uh, or is written. Uh, if you guys want to read about that, it talks about uh, the German uh, Germany falling to a syndicalist regime. So a mad raving of a starting starving artist, nothing more. Mm. All right, we can do civilian expansion. We got all right, fifteen. Minutes or so. Oh, we got three more civilian factories. That's right. From recover, so we, oh, four more. Uh, let's see. That gives us a little bit more stability. So does that local power gain? Uh, let's just do secular uh, secular Catholicism. If you guys want to read about that. Just adds plus seven percent stability and plus seven war support for the question of the church. Forty-two day focus. Uh, how many more days do I got on these? We're only forty percent done. That's fine. How much is it to add artillery? It's just too expensive. I know, but I just want to know how much it. If I click on all these and say convert to infantry 2, it'll also tell me. So I have enough artillery. Uh, they just lose some of their uh, experience game, but none of these guys have experience. So let's change them all. Oh, they knocks them down to green as well. Let's we'll train them up. think these guys have artillery they don't so I will have to end up changing infantry division uh, one once we get enough army experience to have artillery as well Let's do another military expansion I know I'm blowing through my political power and I'm not putting them into my military staff just yet uh, I have full faith that I'll have enough time to put some stuff in there before the war actually kicks off pretty hard 
<clears throat> Sorry, my voice cracked. Let's get motorized. Production. We still need quite a bit of rifles for upgrades. And I need a new train. So. I'm going to crank it up to 5 speed. Uh, well, we'll just keep it on 4 speed. Say so just to get through some of these little focuses, but I don't want the world to go crazy. So the Portuguese Empire has left the Entente, and they have joined the Latin Union with the Spanish Empire and the French National Estate under Philip de Tong. Uh, Liberia has declared war on Fristat, West Africa. Pretty sure this is a German state, or was a German state. Uh, Africa never ceased to entertain the god of war, or the gods of war. It's a little Liberia here. Do I need any more trains? Yeah, I need two trains. We did fix that supply problem, though. So we should be getting supplies up here. Let me give you infantry expert. A little bit more attack. I'll put you on aggressive uh, battle plan ex execution. So these guys are training up. There's no way they could be green and go fight up there. They just won't be strong enough. The uh, Pacific states have been fighting for a while now, so they their troops are not green. What I'm hoping, what I'm hoping is that they uh, they don't have a, a lot of rifles left right now, and so when we do attack them, we're not going to get absolutely punched right in the mouth. But. There's always a chance that we will get sucker punched. Um, Bulgaria ended up losing the war against Serbia. Serbia white piece. They look like they're still at war with Greece, though. So, yeah, Greece did not agree to stop the war with them. Uh, we can get... We got enough naval experience, enough air experience. Uh, we're going to have to do trade interjection just because uh, Mexico doesn't have a very strong navy. And we haven't been focusing on it because... We're in need of other things, and we'll do battle for support. Usually what I always do for air. Uh, even though I don't have any air and I can't produce air right now. The RDP has taken power in Bulgaria. Usually after the war, if Bulgaria loses, the Zardom switches over. And now they have, uh, well, the son of Ferdinand, Boris III, under the market liberals. So... Let's get... Uh, Let's get synthetic fuel, uh, fuel refiner, not fuel refineries, I'm sorry, uh, si uh, silos, that's not the name of them either, <laughs> uh, st uh, fuel store, yeah, fuel silos, okay, Norway has joined the Entente, <coughs> wait, excuse me, whew, uh, engineer company is one, sorry about that, <coughs> Let's get uh, improved infantry equipment one. I'm going to focus on our military for right now. Uh, let's see if I come up here. This makes our army quite a bit stronger. I'm going down a new Age Beyond the Revolution, uh, Elastic Crans and St. Pierre Lealis. If I go down Legacy of the Revolution and then Future of Warfare, we get an extra research slot. So we'll do that first. I know I said I was going to finish out this part of the tree because we only got four more to go. But uh, I really think I need to get started on this uh, invasion of the Pacific States because uh, if I wait very much longer, I won't have the chance to do it because this requires um, the American Civil War to be started, I think, or to still be ongoing. So right now we have all green national spirits. There's no negative national spirits. Um, let's see, military high command, artillery specialist. Yeah, we'll do artillery specialist. 
Indo-Chinese Union has joined the co-prosperity sphere. And the Philippines has also joined the Empire of Japan. So it means the Dutch and the Dutch East Indies are now at war with the co-prosperity sphere, I believe. Or not. Oh, oh, the Indo-Chinese Union. I apologize. Not in Salindia. Um, pretty much Vietnam. Well, more than just Vietnam. But the uh, socialist um, Indo-Chinese Union. So. Six more. We almost got a 20, 24 stack. Almost. Almost got a full general. Uh, that requires five more. So we're down pretty well on guns. We will have enough artillery, though. Transmere plunges into chaos. So, I wonder who died. Oh, it all just split up. Yeah, the Mad Admiral's probably passed away, so that's what happened. Oh, look at that. Alaska is a uh, communist state. Who has joined the Third International? Hmm. The uh, the United States up here in Virginia and little parts of Maryland are holding on pretty well, uh, and Central America has just erupted into war against El Salvador. Uh, El Salvador is paternal autocrats as ourselves. <coughs> I'm wondering tonight how many can I send? Any volunteer? I can send two. Alrighty. Back into the fray once more, my good men. I had this gentleman here, I believe, last time. Martinez. Oh, who did I choose? That's not who I wanted to choose. You to El Salvador, who's at war with three different countries. Let me, let me not send these troops, actually. Hold on. Let me... Tenth and the ninth. Some random new divisions I'm not really worried about. So we'll send you guys as volunteers. To go fight and try to help uh, El Salvador. I don't know if we'll be able to help them, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, we need more steel. Get some more from the uh, American Union states. Now we're building exclusively military factories. Get this legacy of the revolution done, and then we'll jump over and get that extra research uh, slot, which is pretty nice. I just need San, or I need uh, El Salvador just to hold for a second. My troops should be down the 30th of May. The Patagonian Workers Front has capitulated down here in Argentina. So Argentina National Estate has beat out the communist forces and are now knocking out uh, communist Chile. Mm. I don't think El Salvador will hold, but we'll give it a shot. Uh, Mass with Maria if you guys would like to read about that it's talking about church service so personally attend Mass at each one of these two churches once a, uh, once a Sunday each month so I guess she's going to yeah two different churches so one for Maximilian uh, and one for uh Augustine, so gives us plus two to paternal autocrats. So we finish that up. Let's get it. It's the future of warfare, and then we'll move on to uh, finishing up this part of the tree. Get our professional army up quite a bit stronger, and I think we'll be ready to go and fight the Pacific states. Let's 
get uh, Mendoza C1934s, some machine guns and mortars. Our troops got down to El Salvador. Uh, Ethiopia has declared war on Somalia. That's Haley Salisi. We ended up being brutally murdered in a uh, communist uh, coup. coup, coup. Uh, I don't think it's registering that we're here. But I don't think I'm going to be able to break out there. The Fang Tang government has went to war with the Queen. The fifth Zili Fang Tang War. Yeah, they got seven soft attack and 12 breakthrough. Ugh. I don't think they have any troops there, unless I'm just unable to see them. Oh, they do. I lied. Stop that. Don't retreat. Stay firm. Hold them back. Guatemala has joined the Liberal Pact. So I end up, if El Salvador does lose this, then they form the Central American government. Um, uh, you know what, El Salvador, I apologize, but I'm taking my troops back. Let them form that, and then we can knock them out. That's actually a part of uh, this tree over here. Um, looking outwards and onwards, uh, conquer Central America for Mexico and claim the Caribbean. So, <clears throat> something I will need uh, is a intelligence ag a agency. Uh, the Shang Chi have also declared war on the Queen. The uh, in the center of investigation for Imperial Mexico. That sounds good to me. Uh, the reason I'll need that is once we do take the United States, it's going to be incredibly hard to hold on to due to the uh, occupied territory. Um, I don't think we get cores or claims on them for quite a while, or cores at least. So we'll have to hold it and uh, keep all of that uh, rebellion down. So let's get uh, more military expansion. I just need more military factories. Uh, Produce more guns. We're positive on trains, finally. We should be just about complete with 24. Uh, no, we still got quite a bit of time to go, so. These guys popped out. About done with future warfare. Got that done. Uh, ooh, we also get a research slot there. So let's do that. The fake liberal. Uh, this talks about Benito Pablo Yarez Garcia in contrast to the great Augustin or Maximiliano is one of the greatest villains in our history. So... Yeah, this is the uh, man that ended up uh, killing Maximilian uh, by firing squad. So during this time, right, uh, the American Civil War was going on. Uh, France had agreed to back uh, Maximilian's claim to the uh, Mexican Empire uh, and the throne of it. And so he came over with French troops to uh, take power. And the U.S. never officially... I, I am going to go integrated support, by the way, for uh, our doctrine. Um, but they never, like... The United States government never recognized them uh, as the true Mexican government. They never rec recognized Maximilian's uh, empire. 
And they ended up supporting um, that gentleman there, uh, Benito Pablo's Garcia, or Pablo Garcia. So they ended up saying, well, he's actually the real government because he's the, uh, the Democratic, the liberal government of Mexico. But the U.S. was in the middle of the Civil War, so they really didn't have a lot of say. Uh, the Mon Monroe Doctrine kind of fell apart because they weren't strong enough to say, hey, you know, stay out. But after the Civil War, the United States said, hey, uh, we still don't recognize you, Maximilian. Uh, the person we recognize is, uh, is Benito. So uh, they didn't support Maximilian, but they supported the opposition, and it ended up being uh, Maximilian's death. So, the Calo expedition, or ex exhibition, sorry. So, the master, uh, muralist Diego Rivera, and the painter Friedrich Calo. Uh, I don't know much about those. I know that uh, there was a movie made about them. She had a very prominent unibrow, uh, <laughs> but she was a very famous artist. I believe they were communist sympathizers, uh, was their big thing. So, we do have enough guns now that we are our five units that are getting trained are fully stocked up and we got our agency created so once we get our uh, our operative recruited we will do anti-partisans first to get that plus 25 root out resistance mission effect uh, effects better let's see how many units do you have 22 to 81 so more than me but you're on a two front war if I get a war with you uh, cause Huey Long will still be pushing in from the east and you guys hate me more than them so the only people that actually kind of like me is the uh, constitutional American Republic uh, the old south not that I want them to like me <coughs> excuse me let's finish up the fake liberal and then uh think that'll be it for this episode i know this was not a very uh interesting episode or a very long episode uh we're just going through this part of the tree actually let's not end it now uh we'll end it sorry uh we'll end it once we get the house of it's a beard done interbite it done so three more focuses so we can get better air experience gain or better or more naval experience gain. I don't, I don't really want to do any of that right now uh, just because I don't have enough. We'll actually wait to get another chief of the army. Uh, and I'm thinking so you got the Gongzo federal government up against the Kumin uh, national government down here under uh, Zupied. So, oh well. I doubt they're going to last long, but they are there. All right, there's the fake liberal done. Now we got the true Maximilian. Uh, you guys want to read that? They're pretty much saying, hey, what we believe uh, Maximilian to be is wrong, and we're going to change your opinion about him. Uh, who's the real bad people, who the real villains are. Not Maximilian, but the liberal government that ended up killing him. That gives us uh, another research slot, and that also gives us Austrian uh, uh, improvement with the Austrian Empire. So the Austrian Empire likes us a little bit more. Uh, and let's let's research the newest rifle. I know it's a little bit ahead of time, but we got that boost. That gives us it's 119 days, uh, and that gives us the Irma Machine Pistol Model 1935. Let's see, I need someone. I like Seducer. Uh, yeah, let's do Lupe Velez. She also is, uh, nationality is part of the Pacific States, so that does help us out as we want to use her up there for that. Uh, let's go back to our industry. Uh, everything is still ahead of time. So let's do uh, basic fire control systems. We will have a navy because if we want to conquer the Caribbean, we will have to have some type of navy at some point. So uh, the Republic of Haiti destroyed the uh, 
Dominican Republic. Yeah, San Salvador looks like it's about to be destroyed. Or El Salvador uh, in San Salvador. Uh, the Pacific states are pushing the American Union states back. Uh, it looks like they're not at war with the syndicalists. They're not. So the American Union states have uh, made a deal not to fight with the socialists. Looks like they're about to destroy the constitutional American government. American Republic. Hold off. I want to get this chief of the army, so I need to save up at least 150 political power. Uh, and Atlanta just fell, so I'd say the constitutional American Republic's just about finished. And the reason I said that they do support us, we do have, uh, they are also paternal autocrats. The reason I said I didn't really uh, care for them was this. It was a worse photo earlier. Uh, if you click onto their focus tree, um, yeah. Or is it? Yeah, it's throughout here. I guess it doesn't show it. There, there was an image that was not good, but who's that? Oh, Charles Lindenberg. There's our five. So now we have a full 24 uh, division infantry or, uh, commander. So Republic of Italy has finally fallen with the fall of Rome. Uh, that means Austria is no longer at war. Kind of shocked that Austria took it, actually. Uh, I wasn't expecting them to take it and hold it. Oh, they didn't. That's why. I was like, I wasn't expecting them to hold it. They gave it to uh, Amedio the first, so the Kingdom of Sardinia. Also, paternal autocrat, so I'm not really mad about that because I can get stuff from them. Uh, we'll also improve relations with uh, both countries because here in a little bit, when this war. Uh, kicks off, I will need the support. Michael Collins and the uh, Republic of Ireland have uh, joined the Entente. I'm trying to find anybody else that is uh, our belief. Uh, the French Nationalist State, they're at war though with the Commune of France. I doubt they're going to help us. Uh, I doubt if we ask, they will help us. <laughs> authoritarian democrat so you won't help us your paternal autocrats over here in the raj authority so we'll ask you for help uh, let's do excavation two we're not getting as much steel imported right no we're not getting as much aluminum imported that's fine, we'll get it from uh, American Union States. We'll get more steel from them as well. Oh, come on, there we go. That leaves us with uh, 20 factories working. So the true Maximilian is done. Let's get some more civilian factories being built as well. We have a lot of building slots, which is good. Um, that gives us that extra research slot that I was liking. Uh, let's get synthetic oil experiments done. And we'll jump up here. So we need to do freedom of practice and then we'll get house of Itabird done or Intabid done. Oh wait, I didn't show you what that was talking about. Uh, so she is Catholic. Um, she's very Catholic, but uh, she also agrees that the Catholic church should not hold power over the uh, country and that uh, you can have whatever faith you would like so that's what that's talking about now now uh, Louis Moctezuma he was uh, completely Catholic he believed the Catholic Church should have power with the state uh, this gentleman over here was uh, not religious at all he wanted a secular Mexico uh, she had secular Catholicism, so. Huh. Alright, so the Ottomans have left the Austrian uh, faction and have joined with the losing uh, Latin Union. Okay. Hmm. 
Austria declares war. The Austria-Hungarian Empire declares war on France. Well, alrighty then. It's another front opening up against the Commune of France. So they are beating back the Spanish Empire, but here in Italy we'll see uh, what comes about that. Well, I don't think the Kaiser Reichs or the Kaiser Pax against uh, at war with them, and they are not. So we got that going. I'm saving up my political power for and a chief of the army, which I'm pretty sure I used some political power earlier after I said that, but do not want all my divisions there I'm here. Get these guys trained up. Uh, if I start converting, we get 80 a day instead of uh, 64. If I wait a little bit and allow myself to... Uh, get conversion to then it, it'll boost it quite significantly so mm, the American Union States is getting steadily pushed back but they don't have any troops down here right now all right let me pause this so a historical de uh, historic deal has been hashed out between the third Mexican Empire and the Empire of the Austrians uh, asking for the body of late Emperor Maximilian or Maximiliano to be returned uh, to his descendants so he may be buried on Mexican soil. Uh, Kaiser Karl finally agreed to let the Imperial or let an appeal of Habsburg to leave their precious Kaiser group for Imperial Crypt. However, in exchange uh, of this historic exception to their generally held rule of all Habsburgs being interred in Austria, the Second Mexican Empire agreed to enter the economic and military alliance headed by Vienna. Seeing the deal, the body of Maximilian has been returned to Mexico as Mexicans themselves enter Austrians boomed. Uh, so they have a strange deals, or there have been stranger deals than a body for an alliance. On second thought, we don't need his body, do we? So we can choose to join the, <laughs> the Latin Union. Uh, I don't know why that shocked me, but I guess the Spanish Empire has ended up doing a, a focus yeah, ratify the Latin Union, and they must have supported the Austrians. Uh, because <laughs> uh, they're now part of the Latin Union. Ah, I, I personally don't want to join the Latin Union. Uh, that'll drag us into a war with the Union of Britain and the Commune of France. It also says, hey, if we come over here and we start fighting, then those guys are going to get involved. And uh, I'd rather just have their support via, like, volunteers and economic support of, like, weapons and stuff. Uh, I don't think we need to join the Latin Union. So, we will build our own. Uh, whoops, I'm clicking too many buttons, sorry. Decisions. We will create our own faction, but not right now either. We probably could have formed a faction with El Salvador, but they're on a three-way losing streak so or they're against three countries they're holding this one tile though and it is plain so <clears throat> or it's it's hill sorry so i got a little stuffy nose <clears throat> troops are still training finish up freedom of practice and then we'll get that last focus done and then uh in the next episode i believe we'll be ready to attack the pacific states Sorry, it's allergy season and I'm uh, getting a stuffy nose. So, I don't want to join the Entente. Don't want to join the Reichs Pact. If I wanted to join the Latin Union, I could have, but I don't want to join that either. So, now if I think about it, oh, we were paused. If I build a bunch of those, pause again. Come down here. Build a bunch of those. Let that go. Yeah, it says I have no manpower, but I'm not actually going to try to to keep those. If I come over here and say, hey, oh, I can't request, that's right. I can't request one unless I uh, am at war. So that's not going to work. I also need to do uh, soldados. 
up here. So the address uh, for that 2% recruitable population. That is nice. Let's get freedom of practice done and then we'll uh, finish out with the house of Itabud. Interbud. Don't think they are doing incredibly well. They got 16 to 72 divisions. I can't see their stockpile. Let's actually, since we have somebody, uh, the Empire of Japan has declared war on the People's Republic of the Yucatan, or Yakidia. Yakudia? Not Yucatan, sorry. Yakidia, I think? I don't know. Let's do army. Departments for Army Intelligence. We'll take you. Let's get a spy work and a spy network out in Northern California. So that gives us our intelligent network strength gain factor plus 30%. And they're more effective in the Pacific state. So that's good for us. I'm going to try to figure out uh, what their military is looking like, but I need to have at least two. Um, spies. I only got one, so we'll start doing this early. Disperse Industries three, and we'll start the House of Iterbed. Uh, you guys want to learn about that? Whoops. Pulling opposition and healing the wounds mistakes of the past. Gives us some more political power gain, stability, war support, daily paternal autocrat support, and the paternal autocrats party will be known as the House of Iterbid. So now we've got uh, replace a constitutional monarch with the House of Iterbid. Just replaces that and it gives us a little bit better of a, bo a boost. So. We could create a faction now and invite, uh, now nah, you wouldn't join, you wouldn't join, you wouldn't join. There's just no, uh, paternal autocrat countries around. Oh, Bolivia. German Bush Becara. Do I want to have an alliance way down here? Who couldn't help me even if he tried because he's landlocked? Probably not. So then you got, uh, Chile or Chile. Uh, which ended up having a nationalist populist coup. Argentina has um, units volunteering everywhere. The little United States is holding out pretty strong. Uh, the Queen Imper uh, the Queen have knocked out the Shang Chi. I need you guys to do some more. You're not even fighting the syndicalists, so I need you guys to hold back the Pacific states a little bit more. You guys aren't doing too great. Come on, Huey. Ooh, I need to stop improving relations. That's also hurting my uh, political power gain. Stop improving relations with you. Stop improving relations with you. Who else is I improving relations with? Sardinia. I'll stop improving relations with you. It's old Winston Churchill himself. Let's see. Can I see anything about now? I need to see what their stockpile gets. So I need less than 30. So if I get 30% and 70%, I get an approximate information. So I need quite a bit more army intelligence. This tells me their civilian intelligence though. Got a bunch of manpower left. Way more factories than I have. Got some factories in planes, some in tanks, but mostly in regular equipment. Whoa. 
14,000 oil produced over here in the American Union. It's 500 in the Pacific states. Mm. This is oil rich land. Texas, Tejas is very oil rich. The American Union states took 15%, and the Constitution of the American Republic has capitulated. So there you go. The Old South has capitulated. I'd say I'd be sad, but I'm really not, so it doesn't matter to me. Uh, let's do the ad head of intelligence. I know I said I'm going to save up my political power. That's actually really important because I need that extra operative. The fake liberal. Declaration of the Sublime Ottoman Federation. So now they don't even need as many troops over here. They can just hold that little corner and push more out here to try to fight the uh, Pacific states, but I don't think they'll do that. The AI is not the uh, most intelligent. Now, I will say that the biggest thing I'm going to have to worry about uh, right now or when I go to war with the uh, Pacific state is a naval invasion. They will naval invade the crap out of me. Uh, they do get a huge chunk of the American Navy, so I'm going to have to watch out for that. Let's start uh, getting the EMP uh, model 1935 started. <sighs> I need more st steel, don't I? Yeah. All right, stop. Let me get some rubber from uh, the Dutchies Indies. All right, we finished out the house of Itterbide. So now next episode, we can start doing more on our military and then we will start our reconquest. Uh, let me actually, cause you actually have to choose the March uh, to Alta California. So let me actually do the, uh, nah, nah, we'll do it. We'll do it next episode. Uh, but I hope you guys have enjoyed episode three of our Mexican monarchy restoration here in, uh, Kaiser Reich, or Kaiser Redux, sorry. Um, but I will see you all in the next episode. Bye.